I joined the Air Force uh, because I had dropped out of high school. I had uh, gotten a job in a factory and I lost that job and I didn't want to be drafted so I joined the Air Force. On my first uh, actual rescue mission, I was standing over the patient when he regained consciousness and he looked up at me and I could see in his face that he knew that he had been very close to death and he had no words to say but the look on his face will always be with me. Uh, he, there was so much gratitude and, uh, and just, just unspoken thanks that, uh, and appreciation that just changed everything in the way I looked at everything. I think the Air Force over a long period of time taught me core values before they defined core values. The Air Force gave me a lot of responsibility, but also with accountability, which is an important balance. It taught me that uh, service was more important than recognition. It taught me that uh, good enough isn't good enough, which pretty much corresponded to what the Air Force core values are now. I'm still connected. Like everybody, I have a story to tell. Some people find benefit in, in hearing some of those things. There's a, there's a connection there that, that, that just doesn't go away. And, and it's all about the service. It's all about doing what you can do to help your wingman, your fellow airmen. My whole career was aimed at that. It was service to the rescue service. It was service to the Air Force. It was service to the country. It was service to the individuals that, that I rescued. And that continues on now, even as a veteran.